Akbar presents Kamala, the Ugandan Savage. And across the ring at 233 pounds from Tampa, Florida, Frankie Lane. Frankie Lane taking on Kamala, the Ugandan Savage. Frankie Lane's in for a tough, tough test. Tony Torres calls for the bell. Frank firing away with rights and lefts, but to absolutely no avail. And did you see the velocity that Kamala generated just by throwing Frank Lane into the ropes? Frank Lane, a, a big, powerful guy, but Kamala is so, so awesome. 400 pounds. Over six foot five inches tall. And he's just relentless in his attack. It's no wonder that Skandar Akbar is so confident that he can come in and take control of Mid-South Wrestling. He felt that Hacksaw Jim Duggan was his main stumbling block, but it couldn't get him out of the way. Kamala still remains. Skandar Akbar's number one gun. Recently we've seen Akbar's acquisition of a new mercenary, the Zambui, Kareem Muhammad, as he's called. Kamala choking Frank Lane. You see Akbar on the outside of the ring, always an extra force that has to be contended with. Kamala has so much ring savvy so many situations he's been around professional wrestling long enough to know how to use those ropes as a weapon a chop to the forehead it's so debilitating we've seen it level so many people now Kamala with the body slam Kamala comes off the ropes oh 400 pounds crashing across the ribcage boy it looks like he doesn't even he wasn't going for the fall there. He didn't know how he had the man position. Skandar Akbar had to tell him what to do. And of course, the massiveness, the ruggedness, I tell you, uh, Kamala Ugandan Savage gains a victory over Florida's Frankie Lane. And now let's go back to Jim Ross in the studio.